Okay, hello everybody. My name is Boris. I'm a teaching assistant uh, uh, for your business 489 strategic management class with Professor Nordstrom. Um, I will be the one who is grading your uh, simulation project, giving you some tasks and uh, leading you through it. Uh, so uh, what do we have here is, I'll just make a short presentation uh, about the simulation so that uh, you guys can be more familiarized with uh, uh, how we do the, the simulation and what decision to make and how. Uh, bef when you log in into your simulation uh, for the first time, I recommend going uh, under the top resources and uh, reading two documents uh, that you can find over there. Document number one is called manual and case. Document number two is getting started. This will also help you with, uh, with your simulation, give you some examples and some tips too. Um, okay, so let's start here. Uh, we will have, um, in this simulation, we'll just go to learning objectives, decisions, reports, and I'll give you some tips at the end of the presentation. Okay, so this uh, in this simulation, you'll have uh, to manage a regional airline competing against other firms, uh, which are your other classmates or the other groups. Uh, in this in this semester, we'll have eight quarters instead of, instead of uh, 12. Oh, yeah, I should have just changed it. It's up to 12, but we will have eight. Uh, so it will be around two year periods. Uh, we'll get some opportunity to experience some strat strategy formulation and how to deal with and how to manage a business on that high level. Um, so we will also learn how, to, how all different parts of one business can uh, impact their all, all success. So we'll do some marketing, operational management decision. Uh, we'll be able to improve our management uh, uh, and decision-making skills. And we will learn how to work better in groups, which is a very important part of this simulation. So this, this presentation and this simulation is uh, made for you to have fun and to learn. So let's go. In the strategy formulation, so to formulate a strategy, you'll need to decide how you will meet your own objectives uh, for the uh, airline. Uh, you'll need to understand your company environment and set measurable goals and objectives that you will follow further to your vision and mission. So to do all of that, you'll need to do some uh, analysis and you will be getting um, as a separate task throughout the simulation uh, uh, to do your on, your on your own. One of those are to perform a break even and a spot analysis, which will help you better understand your airline and to make better decisions for the following quarters. So let's see at uh, the decision when we start making decisions, the first decision to make is uh, to, uh, to come up with a business name as a group. After that decision, we'll just make uh, the, the, the simulation will open uh, for all other decisions and you will just be making decisions uh, quarterly. You can change decisions every quarter to try to get the best results. Uh, I'll just mention that uh, you will be graded on a couple of different uh, measurements. And so, uh, so we will have uh, measures in uh, net profit, stock, stock price, quality, reliability, and cumulative net profit. Uh, all those numbers will give you a uh, weighted score and you will be ranked based on that score among other uh, groups in the class. So let's see. Let's see. So when we make uh, a decision, first decision to uh, with our name, the name of the airline, you'll, we need to take into consideration if the, the name is descriptive, for example, if it's uh, Pony Express or it says Transcontinent Airlines, does the name indicate service level if it's a luxury or not uh is the name catchy or do people can remember it easily uh, and is the name restrictive for example we, we have paris airline which restricts us maybe on some on just on a paris area uh, or if we have a air france 
which is obviously uh, serves a wider area and it is um, an international airline. So, uh, in the in the airline interface, your company will be referred to as the, your name that you come up with and uh, a sign number. So, let's see. Uh, with what are the decisions? Um, we'll make a decision uh, in the simulation regarding a, regarding of fares, marketing, fleet scheduling, human resources, financing, and we will have special decisions too. So to be successful in this presentation, you'll need to align all the decisions, the one overall goal uh, of our airline. So let's see, fares and service the decisions. We have a fair, fair structure is a discount, normal and luxury. Again, based on, on, uh, on the type of airline you would like to run and you would like to promote. So for a fare, it must be in appropriate range based on your chosen chosen uh, fare structure. Fare is, an, fare is an overall price per mile that applies to all your roads. And we will see uh, actually a picture of that on the next slide and where and how we make those decisions. And so cabin and food service level, we can also make changes there. We have several options from non to meals to full range meals and drinks. Uh, okay, so we can see the picture here. So we, have, we see these pair decisions. Pair structure, we can pick discount from 28 to 31 cents, normal 35 to 40, luxury 48 to 51. Cabin food service, when you actually go in simulation, when you click other different levels, you'll see what options are available with that certain level. So also be, uh, below the pair structure, we, have, we can see pair, we can manually uh, change a pair per mile, which are in cents. After that, we will get projected cost per seat mile and break even a lot factor, which is cost uh, uh, divided by fare. So we, why do we need to take into consideration this? Because it will impact uh, our revenue, it will impact on our cost, so um, which, um, which later will impact our overall standing as an uh, airline. Um, next are marketing decisions. So marketing decisions, we will have advertising and budget and a promotion budget, which include media, target markets, um, fair decision. Uh, so the, the budget, the budgets are more important when entering new roads. So we will have um, options just to uh, stay on certain roads or to expand. Uh, we will see that later. Uh, we can also do in-flight magazine, which costs $500 per aircraft on, uh, each quarter. Uh, and we will have a, we can, uh, under marketing, we also have a sales force. Um, uh, so we can just call an agent to expand uh, our presence on, on, in the market. So base cost is $12,000 per self, salesperson each quarter in wages only, plus $3,000 one time hiring cost uh, per, per, per salesperson. So we'll have all those costs uh, breaking down in actual simulation and you will need to take that into consideration for the future quarters because we don't want to run out of, of money and cash. Uh, we also have under marketing social responsibility. If we don't have money to charitable, charitable causes, it will affect our overall quality of the airline because other people will see our, um, our airline uh, with a better um, view and they will and uh, you know, more likely want to, to fly with us. So we'll, we'll make more money based on that. Um, so, and also we have a different regions. We can choose with which regions we, we can operate and we can allocate our marketing efforts among those regions. Some, some groups uh, previously just chose to stay in one region, some uh, expand to one or two more depending what you want to do and what you feel like uh, is the best choice for your airline. Entering a new region costs $250,000 and it is also it is depreciated $5,000 per quarter. So it is a big, a big uh, kind of cost to enter. So we need to plan carefully for that and to see if we have available funds. Okay, so we have a fleet decision next. Uh, we have maintenance, standard, mid-level or high, fuel level, which is also impacts our, our cost. Uh, we have, we can choose 100% spot, 50-50 or 100% or contract. Contract is just a future, we buy future, um, lock in the price for the future uh, delivery of the oil to us. 
if we think that the price will go up or down. Um, for the aircraft, we can buy or lease. It's uh, again uh, up to you which uh, choice you want to do, which one you think is better, or we can increase or decrease uh, the number of seats in the uh, the same airline. So we can see aircraft, uh, sorry, so we can see here on the picture, we can choose a different kind of aircraft. We will actually have uh, multiple options in the simulation. This is just one picture of one air, uh, uh, airplane. And we can see uh, under the picture, we can, we can see the seating, which can be, uh, um, we can buy with uh, the same airline with more seats or with less seats. And it will also affect the cost of the uh, airplane. So next one, uh, scheduling, the, scheduling the decisions. Um, we can select a number of flights. Each uh, aircraft type will perform for each route. Um, the, the total number of routes depends on the number of um, competitors. So we can see this is the route map that is uh, that you will see actually in the presentation. In a simulation, uh, we can see the the miles for each trip um, for each route. Uh, so we can select from regular fare or sale fare. If it puts on sales, it will just try to promote the, the certain. Our route, uh, and then late, later on we can increase to, to normal fare and just uh, start making money. Okay, so next one, analysis of the of the scheduling. Um, so we can just we will just see this uh, picture there in the simulation. Total seats, um, round trip miles, cost per seat mile, so operating cost of one route. And all different kind of analysis. If this is the overview to help you um, see if you are over or, or under your aircraft capacity. I recommend always to be a little bit uh, over. Um, so yeah, that, that's it about that. Let's go on the next one: human resources decision, which is very important. We have a training budget and compensation policy. As we can see on this picture, we can we can uh, we have a hiring summary. We will we will see how many people we have already hired. What is our turnover ratio? How, um, so current employment. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, quality train uh, quality rating uh, training budget training from one thousand to one hundred thousand dollars. This is very important. Um, so you should pay attention to this one um, for our training. It will uh, help our uh, customers feel better with the better uh, trained uh, employees and uh, it will lower our turnover uh, uh, ratio. Okay, so some consideration uh, uh, regarding human resources, uh, compensation, impact service and efficiency of operations. A current compensation can affect expectation of employees for the future. Uh, so make sure that increases are sustainable. Once a quality program is started, it should be continued indefinitely. And stock bonuses can cost approximately $5,000 per aircraft per quarter. And shares of steady will also increase. So, mm, OK, let's see. Financing decisions, I think, is the most important part of the uh, simulation. Uh, what um, it, they are primarily concerned with making sure you have sufficient cash to manage your operation, or if you have excess cash, what to do with it. So this is one very very important. We will talk a little bit more about this. Uh, so we have additional sources of cash: is short and long-term loans, or we can sell stocks. Um, if we don't have uh, you know cash, uh, and maybe make decisions, uh, we, there will be we don't plan for the expenses that we actually will have for the next uh, quarter and we submit our decision, there will be automatic overdraft and it is two times short term interest rate. So it will be more expensive to do it that way. Okay, um, and also additional use of cash, we can uh, we can pay dividends and we can uh, get some CDs. So let's see here, financing decision. Uh, this is actually the picture I took, screenshot I took from the simulation. So financing, we can see all of this. We see that we have a cash balance, line of credit uh, available, and uh, we 
we can use all of that to just to buy new airlines or other to pay our employees or other things. We have projected investment activities. Those numbers will change when you start the simulation, and we can see we can buy three month CDs, which is a five dollar APR. It's a it's a it's a share money that we will get back if we invest. It's just not a lot. Um, okay, so this part here, oh, sorry, this part here at, at the bottom on the left side is the most important. So projected change in cash from your investment and financing decision is a net outflow of forty four thousand five hundred fifty dollars. Uh, so this does not include cash from uh, operations. So your cash flow statement shows an inflow of ninety six thousand seven hundred thirty uh, for operation in the current quarter. So we can see based on that. We will have some uh, excess. We will have some profit ne uh, next quarter, and we need to leave our financing decision mainly on this number. Uh, okay, so we have our projected financing activities. Um, we have a loan payments. We also need to you know, include that. Uh, what else? Um, Short-term loan we can take from here. Uh, we can sell uh, stocks. Uh, here is a. Uh, $20 per share, you can pay dividends here, and so on. And we can still yeah, pay, pay dividends here. So, um, yeah, if we want, if we have excess cash and we want to pay off some of our loans, we will use parentheses here in this area, in this uh, projected financing activities under short term loan or under long term loan. Just use parentheses and put the number of uh, money you want to apply towards the pay, paying off the loan and it will be uh, applied in the next quarter. Okay, that would be all for the financing decision, I would, I think. Okay, we have also special decisions here to consider. Special decisions are special because unlike other decisions, they may be available for only a portion of the simulation. It's usually one or two quarters and each group will have a little bit different uh, offerings for these special decisions. Uh, so exa examples of these decisions are diversification, hiring practices, safety issues, uh, dual designation, purchasing policies, and ch uh, channels of distribution. Distribution. So all of these uh, special decisions will give you uh, an explanation. What does it mean? And how can they affect you? So you'll make decision what to do or what not. Okay. Next one. We have also creative decisions. You might be asked to do some creative activities, for example, to make a logo, to upload an image. Uh, also, we can have, sorry about the noise, or uh, we can have uh, advertisement decision. We upload an image or media or link to a website. Some people, some students actually made also a website uh, when I was taking a simulation, which is, uh, I think, a very good. Uh, uh, thing to do, uh, and um, aircraft we can just make uh, uh, a different color of a plane that will, uh, a certain plane that will represent our company. So we have, uh, I don't know, five uh, planes of one type. That's a representation of our company, of our airline. So this will be our like representative uh, airline airplane, and we can to use this that picture and use different colors and put it out there. So. Let's see next one. Reports. Reports each quarter. The simulation reports will show your results. Um, so we need to reference them when making decisions. This is how it looks on the dashboard. On your simulation, we'll have a soft price. So the red one means that uh, it, it is worse underperform uh, uh, compared to the previous uh, quarter. If it's green one, it, it, it increases. It's increased and it is good. If it's blue, it stays the same. I think. Okay. So yeah, it stays the same. Um, yeah, we have see, we can see all of these reports and all of these numbers uh, under uh, dashboard. So company reports, you just see dash, dashboard, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, operations, sales report, and fleet status. We can all see that in our simulation. Market reports, uh, financial summary reports is free only. Other must be purchased with your um, Funds available from your airline. So we have a financial summary, operate, uh, operating statistics, human resources, fares, sales, and marketing that you need to pay. I think it's $10,000 per report, but I'm not sure. 
uh, I think it is $10,000. So we have uh, some tips on how to organize your team. It's actually up to you. You can make a meetup every time you need to make decisions and just talk it through uh, and make the decision based on that. Or you can just uh, divide the roles as a president, finance VP, marketing VP, human resource VP, and operations VP, and just be concerned with your own department and with your own decision within the department. But you, either way, you need to talk to each other just to make sure that each um, decisions are consistent with other decisions so that your goal are still, are still followed. So, okay. Um, okay, so I'm just some, just some tips here. Um, so all decisions are saved on the server. So it, all decisions must be made online. Uh, everyone on the same team shares one set of uh, decisions. So when one person makes a change, the whole team makes that change. Um, so when one team member purchases the report, the whole team purchases the report. So you just need to pay attention on who does what. Uh, also, you need to check always the decision summary to make sure your decisions have been entered as you intended. Uh, then save or read, save your decision summary if you would like, uh, and look at decision alerts. This it's a this sign. Okay, to make sure you haven't missed any decisions, um, and decisions feel, should be completed on time, and which will give you the result the following day. Um, okay, so, so final, some final thoughts here. Um, so your overall strategy should, should drive your decisions. So if you, what kind of strategy you, you choose to follow, that's uh, based on that, you make your decisions, your finance, marketing, human resource, and all others. Focus obviously on how to best serve your customers, do a total offering. Uh, um, and one important part is that, that uh, employee training. It's a very important part I learned from last time. Uh, we need to manage your margins, understand long and short-term financial implications, so fixed and variable costs of your decisions, and also how you finance your, your fleet. Uh, try and try new approaches, apply concept that you learn in class and just have fun. This is a not very hard uh, simulation, but still it requires some time and uh, to put some effort and uh, apply uh, some uh, knowledge that you have acquired in the class. Uh, um, from, if you want to contact me with any question uh, regarding simulation or any advice, uh, I'll be, uh, you can reach me at my email, which is boris.thomas at ndsu.edu at any time when with, uh, with a question regarding the simulation, or we can just uh, set up a Zoom meeting and we can discuss it over there. So yeah, um, that would be all. I, maybe it's a little bit longer than expected, but I try to do it uh, to do it uh, in, in the shortest amount of time possible. So thank you, everyone. Have a great day, day and uh, enjoy the simulation. Bye bye.